There are many vibration monitoring applications that may be local or in remote locations. When vibration data in remote locations is recorded by Instantel's monitoring systems, their data can be transferred automatically to a remote computer. This is done using a modem equipped with a SIM card that communicates with a cellular network connected to the internet. When data is sent to your company, it arrives at the network router on a specific port. Configuring the router to direct this data to a specific computer inside your local area network is known as port forwarding. This video will guide you through the four configuration steps to ensure you can access your data on your computer. Step 1. How to set up Thor's AutoCall Home communication settings. Step 2. How to set up the modem's destination IP address and port. Step 3. How to set up the router's port forwarding. And lastly, how to ensure the Windows firewall allows data to access your computer. Start Thor by clicking on the Thor icon that was added to your desktop when you installed Thor. Click on the Unit tab and select your units. Note, a good way to initially configure your unit is by first connecting it to your computer with the provided USB or USB adapter cable. In the Unit dashboard, click on Auto Call Home Setup. Make sure to check the Enable Auto Call Home box and click Apply, then click OK and click Done. Next, go to the Auto Call Home tab and click on the General icon. Define a TCP port number. For simplicity, we have made this the same number as the destination port in the modem, 8070. Click Apply and OK. For a detailed description of this step, Please refer to our tutorial videos on how to set up a Micromate to autocall home with a modem and how to set up a Minimate Pro to autocall home with a modem. Enter your modem's IP address in a web browser and log in to the administrator console. In our case, we're using the default username user and the default password admin. In the serial port configuration section, define the destination port as the same value as in step 1, in our case 8070. In this step, you must also define the destination IP address of your network router, in our case 209.217.83.116. Step 3. How to set up the router's port forwarding. All routers will present this slightly differently according to make and model. Instantel recommends you contact your IT department to assist with the port forwarding. Unfortunately, Instantel will not be able to provide assistance for your specific network. In this step, we enter the router's port forwarding section and create a rule defining which internal port to open within the local area network. and which external port to listen to for data to forward. With the ports defined, we can designate a local IP address, in our case 192.168.1.11. Click Create. To summarize, the rule now states that all data traffic that arrives at the network router 209.217.83.116 on port 8070 will be forwarded to the IP address of the local computer running the Thor and Autocall Home applications, in our case 192.168.1.11 on port 8070. Step 4. Ensure the Windows firewall allows data to access your computer. For data to arrive properly, the local computer must also be listening to the 8070 port. This means that any firewall must also make allowance to not block this port. Other factors such as private antivirus software is beyond the scope of this tutorial. Under the Windows Control Panel, Systems and Security, Windows Defender Firewall, Allowed Apps 
there is a list of software that have firewall exceptions. If Instantel Auto Call Home and Instantel Thor are not in this list, you can click on the Allow Another App button. This will open a window with a list of apps. If they are not in this list, click on the Browse button and go to the C drive under Program Files, Instantel, Thor, and select the Auto Call Home window service.exe and click Open. Then click Add. You will have to do this step a second time for the Thor.exe file. Once the apps are part of the list, in Windows Defender Firewall, click on Advanced Settings. This will open a new window with a section on Inbound Rules. When you have located the rules for Instantel Auto Call Home and Instantel Thor, double click on each one to open their individual properties. Under the Protocols and Ports tab, set both Local Port and Remote Port to the value All Ports. Click Apply and OK. Now that all four steps are properly set up, your computer is ready to receive data from your remote monitoring unit.